this. Check this book out. It's interesting. It's an old book. It's called The Ultimate Alphabet by Mike Wilkes. I presume he wrote it and illustrated it. Look at that illustration. It's very busy, isn't it? Essentially, what happens in this book is each page has got a different letter of the alphabet and it's packed full of things, items, objects that start with that particular letter and you ought to find them all. Look, here's an example on the back. Um, just before we look closer at that, just to point out, look, there's the ISBN. It's quite an old book. It was 9 95 in the UK. I got it for two quid, look, in a charity shop. It's a definitive alphabet book book by the artist Mike Wilkes, taking us on a magical journey. So yeah, this one is from the page S. So you got things like, I don't know, um, actually there's a lot of these art words that I don't even understand. Scorpion. There's a scorpion just there apparently. And that's, what? What are these? It's shuttlecock? Where's that? Oh yeah, just there, a shuttlecock. I'm playing badminton with. There's some salami apparently. There's a spade in there somewhere, is there? Oh my gosh, this is gonna be tricky, is it not? Anyway, let's have a little look. So, first page. Oh yeah, and the other cool thing about this is, you get a workbook. So, even though I bought this used, it looks like whoever had this before me didn't actually do it. They haven't ticked any of these off. The idea is obviously you, you, know, you tick them off as you find them. There's all, oh my, look, there's all the bees. One page per letter, no more than one page. It's a lot of Bs, look at all those. Cs, I mean, just glancing at these, there's croaker, Cyrillic, there's things, I don't know, that I haven't even heard of. Conocunius, I don't know. This is gonna be well hard, isn't it? If you think you're good at cryptic crosswords, then you should have a go at this. That'll test your metal, won't it? So, what's this? Overall total, if you could fill this in and oh, send it off before 1988 on the 1st of April, you could enter a competition with presumably some prizes. Maybe it tells you in the book what they are. As you can tell, I've not studied the book a great deal. Anyway, let's have a little look through it, shall we? And what you could do if you want to play is you could pause it on each page and see what you can see. C is for Carol and so is this book. Ah, oh, that's sweet. It was uh, first published in 86. There's an intro. Mm, let's tell you more about it. And is this about how he actually made them? I don't know. Wow, all looks pretty amazing, doesn't it? Anyway, here's A, letter A. There's 360 things here beginning with A. Is that an angel? Have I just got one of them? There's all kinds of like detail in here and animals. Um, and alzation perhaps there. Anyway, I'm not gonna spoil it. I'll let you peruse. I wonder whether I could maybe just do a bit of like, maybe I could zoom into each page and that make it a little easier. All you need to know is this, it's A and there's 360. And then this is B, and there's, oh, it doesn't tell you. Oh yeah, 538 Bs, if you can find them all. Good luck. This is C, and there are 433 of these. Starting with a clown and a clarinet. I'm going to come and symbols, but I'll give you no more clues. Except crocodile. The rest is yours. Wow. This is D, and there are 253 Ds. Help yourself to the Ds. These guys, did they not appear in here? Is that Mike himself? Is he appearing in all of them as things, possibly, with a dunce hat on? Quick clue. Well, that's D. Here's E. There's 261 Es. Yeah, it is him, isn't it? presume he's on every page now. Quite a lot of objects on the bottom there for you to look at. So yeah, there was 261. We're on to F and there are 414. There's a lot of Fs, aren't there? So see if you can find all them. It's a bit like, I would say, 
how have people got the patience to do something like this but well a if there's prizes up for grabs which obviously there were in the 80s with this book um, so that's an incentive but also people do jigsaws don't they and things um, and I, I never had the patience for those either really but on G and there's 259 there's a guitar that's a freebie giving that one free I like the way this has got a sort of statue type, type theme yeah H 275 H's a load of space there that's not even being used. They could have got a few more H's in that sky, surely. Anyway, oh, look at that. I. 202, Iguanodon. That's a freebie from me. Um, yeah, 202 of them. J. Remember, you can pause this video and study them if you're that way inclined. Looks like that's Mike again. So there's J. 102 J's. There's um, 105 Ks, quite a small image there. I have to uh, look very closely. L, there are 275 Ls. Again, a lot of wasted sky. M, 400, 409 Ms, lots of animals, aren't there? I wonder how we did this. Do you think of all the things first and then paint them, or I guess he must have. N, 163. Maybe someone looked over his shoulder and said, if you thought of X, Y, and Z. Oh, better include those. 158 O's. 810 P's. There are a lot of P's. I love that sky, that roof. So many more P's than most. Is that a um, pen knife, maybe? Gosh. Pineapple, I saw a pineapple. This is weird, it's, what, like, four, four, what? It's Q and there's 309. So does that mean there's four quails or just one? I don't know. Oh, I see, because it's, oh, it's, it's a quartet of images. That's a Q. Yeah, a quail, a quail, a quail, and a quail, a quaker, a quaker. A quaker. Uh, so, does I think each one of those counts towards 309. Ah, 321, 321 R's, including a rainbow. Love to roll the R's. Good luck with that one. S, are you ready for this? This is the busiest yet. There are no less than 1,229 S's on this page, including a skeleton. There's one for free. Gosh, T, this has 427 T's. U, 133, it's a bit more difficult to find who use. Is that ugly? Ugly baby, maybe, I don't know. So, okay, 133, V has got 148. I can see a vampire lurking there in the middle, that one's easy, quick win. W has got 263 W's, including a wolf. What else can you find? X has got what? A xylophone is player and the 25th of December account for only for 10% of the words on this picture. So does that mean there's 30? It's a bit cryptic, I think there's 30 on that. Y has got 74, it's a bit dark, 74, can see a yak, Z has got 57, Mike's back at the end, what are these numbers, I don't know, I'm obviously not clever enough, but there are 57 Z's apparently, and we're at the end, end of the book, there's a snail, there, is that the publisher's a logo, possibly? I don't know. That was a bit different, that, wasn't it? A bit different to the normal book. And um, if you found all of those, I'm amazed. Stick something in the comments. Um, if you even came close to finding all of those, stick something in the comments there. Um, maybe one day if I get super bored and I'm stuck, 
snowed in, I'll get this book out and I'll have a go myself. Shame I can't uh, compete for the prize really, isn't it? Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed that strange book. I did. Thank you.